Okay, so that's finished compiling. Let's go back and find out how to test it. So it's just ninja test. Oh, wrong window again. So we've got one failure. Let's see if there's anything about that. No, there's no mention of that. Um, I can't encode character in position 9. I'm not quite sure why that would have happened. Again, see what happens. I don't know if it will, yeah, it's trying to run them again, all again. So, whether that's anything to do with the um, current locale, um, I'm not sure. I'm um, not sure why it's even failed, so uh, not a lot I can do about that really. Um, normally if this was a system I was going to be keeping, I'd be concerned about that. In fact, I, uh, it's maybe because I'm thinking about it using optimizations in the C flags, so um, which I wouldn't be using if this was for a system that I'd be using to keep or the keepers uh, want to use, so it could be that um, if I start to get quite a few errors on tests I might actually just cancel the use of those C flags uh, and bought using them and remove them because um, clearly they are having an effect or well, they would be having an effect on the test but at the moment um, I'm going to keep them there um, and see how it goes um, so I'm going to install this now as the root user. And it kind of justifies what I always say about optimizing. It's not worth the effort. Um, I was just hoping that as the main Linux and Scratch project seems to be a bit more durable with um, optimizations, um, that BLFS might be, but that might not be the case, and I think it's more to do with the packages themselves um, as opposed to any of the instructions in the LFS or the BLFS book. So let's install this. That's good. So configuring the P11 kit, it says here the P11 kit trust module can be used as a drop-in replacement for that file there to transparently make the system CAs a certificate authorities available to NSS aware applications so there's this link command here so we'll paste that in go back see if there's anything else to do and that's it so now, now I've got P11 kit installed. Uh, let's clean it up first, actually. So as you can see, there's a separate build created, build directory. So we need to go up two levels. Remove P11 kit. And I'm now going to quit this terminal and go back to my first main terminal. And that will allow me to continue to install that um, extra file or link uh, that was going to be added in NSS. So it was at the bottom here somewhere, there it is there. Um, in fact it looks like the same link. If P1 gets, the P1 kit trust module can be used. So let's have a look at that file. So 
it's linking to this file. P11 kit trust. PKCS11. Yep, that is the same link. You can see PKCS11, which is in the current directory, which will be user lib. P11 kit trust.so has got a link pointing to it called lib nsscKBI. And you can see that's what that's doing user lib, lib nsscKBI. Point to PKCS11, P11 kit trust.so. So I could run this in again and it would have no effect. I'll do a listing again, you can see it's identical. So the same instructions are in two different packages, basically. So I can sign off P11 kit now, uh, which I think I've done. Have I? No, I haven't done that yet. Um, in fact, I first of all, I can sign off NSS. There's nothing else to do with this one, which is under security. So as I said before, some of these in security will get um, built as we go along. And as you can see, NSS is one of them. So that can go. Uh, use the right mouse. Now P11 kit, which is also in security. That can be crossed off on the list. And get rid of the tab. And now we're at make CA. So let's go. We've got the P1 kit installed. We've got NSS installed, which is just for runtime. Quick look here. Yep, okay. There's just additional certificates to install. So let's go here. Go back. And this is make CA. Let's check if I haven't. I don't think I've downloaded. Oh, uh, Better go back to the sources directory as kernel text and remove NSS source now. Okay, just check we haven't got make CA installed. We have uh, downloaded, sorry, we haven't, so we'd better do that now. That's done. Go back again. So it says, let's read the installation. It says, make CA script we will download and process certificates included in the cert data file for use as trust anchors for the P11 kit trust module. Additionally, it will generate system certificate stores used by BLFS applications if the recommended and optional applications are present on the system. Any local certificate stored in ETC SSL local will be imported to both the trust anchors and the generated certificate stores overriding Mozilla's trust. Additionally, any modified trust values will be copied from the trust anchors to ETC SSL local prior to any updates. Preserving custom trust values that differ from Mozilla when using the trust utility from P11 kit to operate on the trust store. So to install various certificate stores, first install the make CA script into the correct location as the root user. Install it with these two commands. So let's extract the package. Change into it. And as it says, as the root user, run those two commands. And that's done. As a root user, after installing P11 kit, download the certificate source and prepare for use, system use with the following command. But note, if running the script a second time, that you have to run a different um, option. If I show you on the screen here, um, these are the two commands we just run. Um, it says if you run the second time with the same version of cert data to run it, 
basically with this com uh, to uh, sorry add the minus r command, but this is the command we want to run now. The make ca minus g command. So I'm going to copy that here and go back to my terminal and paste that in and press enter. Okay, that's done. So let's go back again. You should periodically periodically update the stores above command either manually or via a cron job if you've installed fcron, which I think I will be installing, and completed the section on periodic jobs, execute the following commands as the root user to create a weekly cron job. So um, I'm not going to install fcron just yet. But I'm going to highlight that. I'll keep this tab to remind me that I want to add this script into the cron so that the um, keys get updated, the certificate store gets updated. So all we need to do is to move on here. We can run these commands to add additional certificates to the store. So let's run these commands here. Oops. So this is adding in extra certificates to the certificate store and while that's running in I'll just show you that there's an example that I won't be running this of how to override the trust so if there's um, a certificate you decide you don't trust um, this option here shows you how to um, disable it or reject it and it ends with a, a reloading of the certificate store so that is make CA completed um, so I'll, I'll keep this tab up to complete that and I'll have to yeah I'll put this here I need to look into yeah that was going to be run at the end of the BLF installation that tab I can probably get rid of really um, but I'm going to move this tab down here so it's one I've got to come back to in the future. And that's it really. So I can go back here and come out of the root user and clean up make CA. So that's all I'm going to do at the moment. Oh, um, what I shall do actually before I do anything else is to just mark make CA off as completed but I'll remember obviously that uh, just that cron script needs to be added in um, when I come to add in cron so yeah that's um, all I'm going to do for now in the next video I'll be doing some more of the security packages in particular I'll probably be doing Linux PAM pluggable authentication modules because that enables a lot of security that a lot of other packages will be using um, and that will entail a rebuild for shadow um, that's quite critical get that right because that could lock us out of the system if that's not done correctly um, and then I'll probably do sudo because um, that will be needed that will be quite handy to have so that's what we're doing in the next video.